Hey guys, uh, I'm going to uh, show you the uh, Ricochet uh, crash guards which I got uh, for my 1250. Uh, it's, it's fantastic. Uh, I think I'm uh, really happy about that. Uh, it protects against rocks uh, because if you drop the bike, then it will not, uh, you know, uh, puncture a hole in your cylinder guards. Okay, let's go and uh, check it out. Okay, this is how the bike looks. So when you see it, you can barely see it because it's exactly at the angle where your eye goes. So you have to actually go down to really see it. So if you see it here, basically uh, it comes with the guard here and these screws. And there are these uh, uh, pegs kind of thing which you can hook on it. Uh, so and then it comes with the padding here which you can stick on it so that it uh, kind of protects uh, the edge a little bit so you just need to stick that and then put the hook out here and then it goes if I go this way you can see how that there's a hole in the screw there uh, and the nut on this side the nut is actually bolted on on, on this guy here so all you have to do is just put the clip like that and then put the screw uh, from the front and uh, and then screw it on. So what I did was just put these two first and uh, put the, with my hand, just kept the peg here, put the plate here and put the screw in, put the screw and tighten it just a little bit and then go down here and then put the bolt from the other side and then uh, tighten the screw and keep the doll slightly loose so that you can adjust the plate to match this area here and then you can tighten it up. So it's pretty straightforward but you, as you can see any stone if you drop you know this protects the cylinder guard but if it's an uneven surface if it's an uneven surface then what happens is the stones can poke through this place here so if it's jutting if a stone is jutting through here even though it's in flat which will protect it but the stone will make a hole in your uh, wall cover and you can leak oil so I think this uh, it will protect that so that's what it is uh, and the other side is similar and uh, in fact it probably yeah, looks the same so if you as you can see uh, with the turretic brace this one comes really close right, right next to the brace here so you might have to just make sure you just push it a little bit to the side so you can put the brace uh, you know you can put the clip right next to the brace here you know so this side is no problem the bottom is no problem and similarly the other side if you can see the tour take brace there is enough of a gap there so that's not a problem for this one so anyway uh, that is the ricochet guards it comes with uh, one with a logo here GS one with the ricochet and this is the I think a polished finish I like this and uh, keeps it neat and classy and uh, everything is uh, looking good ready for some off-road and uh, getting some fast way pegs so that will make it I think there's a big uh, IMS peg sorry and that's going to be big so I'll probably change that next so I'll get the pegs replaced and I'll be all set other than that uh, the bike's looking great as usual I need to get the 12,000 uh, K uh, service done but I believe that's just an oil change and not a valve clearance check anymore for the 1250s so the valve clearance check comes at uh, 16k anyway I will talk to you guys later.